Our Lady in Fatima and Lourdes, La Salette in all the apparitions has always announced the triumph of her heart, then at the same time she announced the advent of the era of the Holy Spirit, of the kingdom of Christ on earth, of the second coming of Jesus, which will also be physical. And what will happen when the apostles will bring the light of Christ to the world? Mark 16. Now these are the signs that will accompany those who have believed. In my name they will cast out demons, they will speak in new languages, they will take snakes with the hands, and even if they drink anything deadly, they will not have any harm. They will lay their hands on the sick, and they will get healed. Jacare 2015. The Holy Spirit will descend on you with such a power that you will perform the same wonders of the Apostles. You will speak new languages, you will cure the sick, you will perform great miracles, conversions. Paratico, in Brescia, 1999. Children, the Holy Spirit will descend again with the fire on earth. Many of my children will have the gift of prophecy, others of languages, others of healing and helping the brothers. Carbonia, 2017. My apostles will be my tools, my hands, my mouth. They will proclaim my holy love. They will resurrect the dead. They will resurrect the dead. They will exorcise. The apostles of the latest times will have the same power as the apostles of 2000 years ago. Peter has been touched by the Holy Spirit and was healing the sick, physically speaking, the blind. One day in Jaffa, a woman named Tabitha, she was giving great alms, great works. She was actually dead. Then they called Peter, he went to Jaffa, he kneeled in front of her body, began to pray and said, Tabitha, get up. And what happens? This woman is raised. She's risen. Abbé de Robert, that is Padre Pio's spiritual son, had gone to war in Algeria. One day, the Liberation Command of the National Front of Algeria enters the village where he was. They kidnap him to where with together with four or five other soldiers, put them all in front of a wall and shot them, killed them all. Abbé de Robert gets up, or better to say, he rather detaches from his body because he sees his body on the ground. He enters into a tunnel, the famous tunnel that everyone sees in the near-death experience, and at the end of the tunnel he enters a heavenly place. He sees many people. Some of these people he knew. Some have died at the age of 80, some died at the age of, eight, of 50, some others at the age of 70. But in that environment, in that place, they had all 30 years old. They were all young. Then he sees Our Lady, he sees Jesus. He feels an indescribable feeling of peace, of joy serenity of eternity and all of a sudden he found himself in Algeria with his nose down in the sand so he gets up he sees that behind him there was a wall completely full of bullets the clothes but the front side and back were full of holes just because the bullets had passed him from one side to another his chest was completely full of blood, it, but it was dry. But he, it had no holes, no wounds, no scars, nothing. This man had the experience, we can say so, of the resurrection. 
in few of our years, the apostles of the last times will pass among the dead, and the dead will be resurrected. This is a speech that must not create a stir, amazement, scandal. First of all, because a similar case happened not so many years ago, I just told you the episode, but also because this man told his experience in front of millions of people on the TV channel. We can see this video. For example, one day when I was in the army, because in France we have the military service obligation, I went to Algeria for the Algerian war. One day, one evening, a commander of the National Liberation Front of Algeria attacked our village. I was soon taken. They put me in front of a door with five other soldiers, and there we were shot. Immediately, I had the strange experience of the corporation. I saw my body next to me lying, lying and bleeding in the midst of my military comrades. They were also killed. And I began a curious assess, a sort of tunnel. And here, with an emotion that is well understandable, I saw the Holy Mary, wonderfully beautiful in her dress of light, who welcomed me with an extraordinary smile, hugged me, kissed me. Behind her there was Jesus, the same, the same thing. Then, a zone of light that I thought it was the Father, there you really feel the total satisfaction of everything I could wish. For and there I knew the perfect happiness, like a certain experience of eternity. Then suddenly, my my nose was in the sand. I found myself on the ground, completely, well, swamped, in the midst of my companions that they were really dead. But I realized that. The door I was standing in front of, it was riddled with bullets that had gone through my body because I realized that my robe was full of holes, both in front and in back. My chest was also full of blood, but a kind of dried, dried blood, a little sticky. So it was two or three hours of blood. My back was the same. I took off this robe, I went to the commander on the other side. You had no wounds, had blood but no wounds. I looked for the holes, I did not find them. I was intact, but these bullets entered the robe, came out behind and also to the door.